Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have released their latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which is the latest preview update for February KB5022906. And this update was made available on the 21st of February, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, as I always do suggest with the optional updates that roll out near the end of every month, only install the updates if you are experiencing any issues with your system. Because um, if you don't decide to install the update now, um, most of the improvements and fixes will be carried over uh, into the Patch Tuesday update for March 2023, which will roll out on the second Tuesday of next month. Now, if you do decide to install the update, uh, it does include a whole lot of bug fixes because it is a non-security bug fix update and um, does include a new feature. Um, and that's to do with the window spotlight on your lock screen. So if we just head over to our lock screen quickly, Microsoft says that this update improves your experience when you use Windows Spotlight on your lock screen. And apparently the informational links for the Spotlight image of the day will open a lot faster when you click on them. So if you are using the, the feature, those informational links for Windows Spotlight on your lock screen will open a lot faster now, according to Microsoft. Now, um, this uh, update is very similar to what I did post on um, last week when it was still in preview, in release preview with the Insider program. So most of the fixes and improvements will be more or less exactly the same. But just to do a quick recap, um, if you are interested for the purpose of today's video, um, if you are using Internet Explorer mode, um, uh, it addresses an issue where the text on the status bar is not always visible. And then um, if we head back to the settings and to the home page, there's a fix uh, for uh, the narrator on the settings home page where um, apparently that wasn't working properly. And Microsoft says this update addresses accessibility issues. They affect narrator on the settings home page. So that bug has been addressed. And then also, um, it also addresses an issue that stops hyperlinks from working in Microsoft Excel and also addresses an issue that affects a certain streaming app. Apparently, um, there was an issue that stopped video playback on that streaming app after an advertisement plays in the app. Now, Microsoft doesn't give us the name of the streaming app, but apparently that video playback issue has now been resolved. Now, as mentioned, this is a non-security update, which does include quality improvements and just to mention a couple of other bug fixes if you are interested that have rolled out this month for Windows 10. Um, this update affects the United Mexican States. The update supports the government's daylight saving time change order for 2023. It also addresses a, ref a resource conflict issue between two or more threads known as a deadlock and this, this deadlock affects COM plus applications and it also improves um, how the remove item commandlet works for Microsoft OneDrive folders. So if you are using Microsoft OneDrive and have experienced any issues in OneDrive, just then make sure you install this update. And it also addresses an issue that affects the local security authority subsystem service, LSASS. Apparently that might stop responding. So that bug has been addressed. And then just the last uh, fix to uh, mention for today's video, it addresses an issue that affects virtual machines. They stop responding when you add a new disk to a storage pool in thin provisioning scenarios. So those are a couple of the extra bug fixes that have rolled out um, with this latest update for Windows 10, which is KB5022906. And uh, if we just head over to Winver about Windows, this will give us our latest build. And the update, by the way, has rolled out for Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2 and Windows Server 20H2. And if you are running Windows 10 version 22H2, and if you have installed this update, the OS build will be bumped up to 19045.2673. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.